The number AABB is a four-digit perfect square. Find this number. So let's call AABB, since it's a perfect square, let's say n squared equals AABB. And just a note here that this AABB does not mean A times A times B times B. It means that the thousands digits is A, hundredth digit is A, and so on. So we can rewrite this in an expanded form where we use powers of 10 to represent this number as 1000A plus 100A plus 10B plus B. We can combine these two and combine these two together. So we can rewrite this as 1100A plus 11B. And let's factor out the 11. And we get 11 times 100A plus B. From this, you can see that since there's an 11 in a factored form, we can conclude that 11 divides n squared. But if you think about it, since n squared is divisible by 11, this number also has to be divisible by 11 squared. And this is because, say for example, you prime factorize n squared, then n squared would be p1 squared, p2 squared, pn squared. Say that n squared, it was divisible by 11, but not divisible by 11 squared, then we would have an 11 right here. And that would mean that this whole number cannot be a square because this 11 doesn't have an even exponent. So we, what we can conclude here is that if n squared is divisible by 11, it must also be divisible by 11 squared. So just rewriting this expression right here, we have n squared equals 11 times 100a plus b. We already have an 11 right here, so this part must be divisible by 11. So let's just rewrite that. So 11 divides 100a plus b. Then once more, just rewriting this, 11 divides 99a plus a plus b. The reason why I did this was we know that 11 will divide 99a because 99 is a multiple of 11. So 11 must also divide a plus b right here. We get another condition. That condition is 11 divides a plus b. So this is good because we can now consider the cases for a and b. a plus b can be 11, it can be 22, it can be 33, and so on. However, remember that a, a, b, b is a four-digit number, meaning that a is a one-digit number and b can only be a one-digit number. So a can be between 1 and 9, and b can be between 0 and 9, like that. So that means a plus b cannot be 22, it cannot be 33, because, well, if it were 22, then a or b could be a two-digit number, and that's just not possible. So the only case we have to consider from this is that a plus b equals 11. So let's consider the different cases for this. Remember that a, a, b, b is a perfect square. So since it's a perfect square, the last digit, which is b, will have some restrictions. Let's try to look for those restrictions. Meaning that, for example, if we have a number n, then the unit digit of n squared will be limited. So for example, we have n can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then the unit digit of n squared would be 0, 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 4, and 1. So from this, you can see that it doesn't matter what number it is. The unit digit of n squared, um, that number squared, can only be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, or 9. And not only for this problem, but this is also a useful thing to be aware of. So we're going to try to use this condition in here. So b can only be 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, or 9. So now we can start our casework. So first case, let's say that b equals 0. Then just a side note, remember a plus b equals 11. If b equals 0, then a equals 11 minus 0, which is 11. 
And this obviously cannot work because remember, AABB must all be single digit number. In the second case, B equals 1, then A equals 10. And once again, this doesn't work. Third case, B equals 4, then A will equal 7. And then our four digit perfect square would be 7744. And if you calculate this out, it's 88 square. So that's one answer that's acceptable. And fourth case, when B equals 5. When B equals 5, A will equal 6. And 6655 is not a perfect square. You could try this, but also a good method of seeing if this is a perfect square or not is since the last digit of this number is 5, a perfect square that ends in 5 also has a tens digit of 2, meaning that if you have a perfect square, it will always end in something something 25. So just, that's just a useful thing to remember. So since this ends in 55, you know this cannot be a perfect square. And the fifth case is when b equals 6 and a equals 5. And our four digit number is 5566. Five, six, six. Again, you can try this out, but this is not a perfect square. And the last case we have is when b equals 9, then a equals 2. Then we have 2299. Two, nine. And again, this is not a perfect square. So the only answer we have from this is 7744, seven, which was 88 squared. So the number we're trying to find is 7744. Seven, four. Thanks for watching our videos, and if you have any questions or comments, please let us know at Math Express. Happy learning!